doing well. I asked you guys on Twitter which you would rather see, a Selena Gomez look or a Gigi Hadid inspired makeup look, and Selena Gomez won, so that's what we're doing today. I'm totally still interested in doing a Gigi inspired look, so if you guys are interested in seeing that in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. I've been a really big fan of Selena's for so many years now, and I actually did a video talking about my experience meeting her and all that good stuff, so if you guys want to see that, I'll link it down below. But yes, I've loved her style and her makeup is always flawless, so I'm really excited to do this video for you guys. I hope you guys like it. It is a little bit more dramatic for like a summer day per se, but you can totally wear this on a night out or, you know, if you're just feeling like wearing a bit more makeup. If this is the first time you've seen my face here on YouTube, I would love it if you guys subscribed so you can be a part of our family and not miss a future video of mine. I will have my button on the screen here, or if you're on mobile, just go ahead and scroll down. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I have all those fun things and you should definitely follow me on there. So I think we've talked enough. Let's go ahead and jump into the Selena Gomez inspired summer get ready with me type of thing. You read the title. You know what we're here for. Okay, let's go. I'm sure we all know that Selena Gomez has super white teeth, but I wanted to share with you guys how I like to whiten my teeth at home for really inexpensive, and it's also just super easy. So recently I've been using the Smile Sciences Kit, and in the kit you get two custom trays that you can mold to fit to your teeth, as well as two vitamin E sticks. You also get an LED light to speed up the whitening process, and then you also get a 5 milliliter syringe filled with the whitening gel. And then the last thing you get in here is a teeth whitening pen for whitening on the go. The first thing you're going to want to do in your teeth whitening process is custom fit your whitening tray to your teeth so you can go ahead and follow the instructions on the bottom of the box. Basically all you have to do is dip it in hot water, press it against your teeth, leave it on for a few seconds and then it should hold the shape of your teeth. And then once you have those both set you can go ahead and put a little drop of the whitening gel into each tooth crevice and a little goes a long way, you definitely don't need a lot when you're doing this. And the 5 milliliter syringe should last you up to 5 uses. And and so you go ahead and repeat that same process on the bottom teeth, put the trays in your mouth and then leave them for 20 to 30 minutes. And the whitening gel is cruelty free and vegan and it's also sensitivity free. I can definitely attest to this because I have very sensitive teeth, especially when it comes to whitening and these didn't hurt my teeth at all, which is amazing. And to speed up the process, I went ahead and stuck in my LED light just to, you know, make it work a little bit better. If you're interested in trying out Smile Sciences, I will have the link down below. And if you use the code Michaela8, you can get this kit for $29. The regular retail price is $299. So that's a crazy good deal, and obviously everyone wants white teeth. Now moving into the makeup portion of the video, I'm starting off by priming my face with the Hangover RX from Too Faced. And then for my correcting concealer, I'm just using the ones from Urban Decay. These things are amazing. And obviously Selena Gomez doesn't have dark circles, so neither will I. And for foundation today, I'm using my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 125. I'm currently self-tanned using Loving Tan, so this is like the darkest I ever get, and definitely the closest I'll ever be to Selena Gomez's skin tone, so there you have it. And I'm just blending that all out with my Beauty Blender, and then moving on to concealer, I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think it's in the shade light, probably not the best when I'm tan, but we're gonna go with it. And I'm just applying that under my eyes, around my nose, and on any blemishes, which I definitely have a zit on the center of my chin. Not a cute location. Not happy about it. And then for bronzer, just to warm up my cheeks and give me a little bit more of a glow, I'm using the Benefit Hoola Bronzer. I love this stuff. It's a new favorite of mine. It took me a while to try it out, but I do really like it. I feel like it's really versatile. It works on me when I'm pale as well as when I'm tan. And then for blush, I'm using Too Faced's blush in Baby Love. It's a really nice, natural, peachy pink color. I really like it. And then a new product from Maybelline that I'm trying out for the first time is their new Master Strobing Stick in the shade 200, and it's just a really nice, subtle highlighter, so I'm applying that to the highlights of my cheeks, and then I'm applying some champagne pop over top of that. I was lucky enough to receive a ton of new Benefit brow products, so I'm currently trying out for the first time the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number three, I believe, and it worked out really well. I really like the shade. I was a little concerned. I thought it would be a little too warm for my brows, but it worked out really well, and it applied really nicely and also blended out nicely, which is important. So that's what I'm doing here, just applying it and then blending it out with the spoolie, and then I'm going in with some Gimme Brow and just setting my brows with that. 
Now Selena Gomez has a little bit thinner of a brow than me, but they are pretty dark so I think that this worked out well. And of course this is just an inspired look, so take it as you will. <laughs> And following that, I'm using the Benefit Highbrow Pencil to clean up my brows and give it a little bit of highlight. So I'm just applying that on and then blending it out with my finger. And then moving on to eyeshadow, the first thing I did was prime my eyes off camera. And now I'm going in with a big fluffy blending brush and just using a light brown color and blending that into the crease. And Selena usually has pretty warm tone eyes for the most part. There wasn't any particular picture I was basing my inspiration off of. I just kind of went with the what she normally does. So it's usually warm toned eyeshadow. So I went with a couple different shades of brown and blended that into the crease. And then for the lid color, I actually went with ColourPop's Eve Super Shock Shadow. This is a gorgeous color and I've been loving the ColourPop eyeshadows for my lid colors lately. They just look wet on the lid and they give a really nice sheen, especially for summer. I think they're so, so pretty and catch the light really well. Selena usually has her waterline filled in, so I'm using the Aqua XL Makeup Forever Liner in the shade M14. It's not quite a black, but it's like a gray color. I thought it was really pretty and I've never used it before, so I wanted to try it out. And then I'm just running a gray shadow along my lower lash line and just kind of smudging and blending that out. And then of course, Selena usually does have a winged liner, so I'm using the Balm's Schwing Liner and creating my upper eyeliner with a little bit of a cat eye, which always ends up being a little bit bigger than you want it to. Who's with me on that? Give this video a thumbs up if this ever happens to you. And after that, I'm applying a thin coat of mascara to my upper lashes and a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes as well. However, for false lashes today, I'm going to be using the Kiss Poise Lashes. I find these ones to be really long and wispy and just really pretty, so that's what I'm using on my eyes. And then to finish it off for the lips, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And recently, I've been loving the Lancome Juicy Shakers. These things are amazing and addicting. So I'm just applying a little bit of that on top of my lips to give it a little bit of a shine. So that pretty well wraps up the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up so more people can find this video and my channel because that would be awesome. And don't forget to check out Smile Sciences. I will have my coupon code and the link in the description box below so you guys can find it easily. And I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!